self-portrait. The sacrament I did not take from the priest king Melchizedek, nor stood I by that sacred well with Abraham and Ishmael in the Arabian wilderness. Prayed not with them that valley to bless, stone on stone laid not that house to build, wherewith their prayers have been fulfilled. I saw not Joseph in his glory, I tell but witness not his story, his brother's guilt, how they did crave forgiveness and how he forgave, and Jacob, Leah, all bowed down, eleven planets, sun and moon. Their progeny scarce dared to glance at Moses' dazzling countenance, when of the burning bush he told. For me there was no need to hold my lids half shut, Time was my veil, nor can I leap our nature's pale to span the years with backward wing, that I might hear the psalmist sing, or gaze with Solomon entranced while Sheba's queen before him danced. Years passed, but still beyond my reach it was to hear the Buddha preach. And when he held up silently that flower, he gave it not to me. When half a thousand years and more had passed, and men allegiance swore to the Arab prophet beneath the tree, my willing hand was still not free from bonds of time and space to be between his hands in fealty. Such blessings missed time was, when I within myself would wonder why, half quarrelling with the book of fate, for having writ me down so late. But now no longer I my lot can question, and of what was not, no more, I say, would it had been, for I have seen what I have seen, and I have heard what I have heard. So if to tears ye see me stirred, presume not that they spring from woe, in thankful wonderment they flow. Praise be to him, the Lord, the King, who gives beyond all rest.